Buffering Saint. On my channel, I like to talk about Catholicism, and I'm currently in this summer book club with a bunch of other Catholic YouTube mommies or someday to be mommies. The book club is hosted by Heather from A Catholic Mom's Life, and we are reading this book throughout the summer. It's called The Handbook for Catholic Moms. And this week's chapter is on creativity. Oh, I will have all the links for the other uh, ladies who are participating in this book club down below, so be sure to check them out. And this week's chapter is on creativity. It's called Cultivating Creativity. And if you're like me and you have a bunch of little kids running around, you probably don't have time to be creative or cultivate your creativity. Honestly, it's a miracle that I've been able to get these videos out like I have been. Lisa Hindi talks about involving our children in the creative process and being creative with our children and including them. So hopefully that could help us with our outlet to be creative. When we do that, we're passing on to our children the love of the arts and allowing them to cultivate the, their creativity as well. Taking them to museums, doing arts and crafts projects with them, those types of things are some fun ways that you can have fun with your kids and be creative, let um, loose a little bit. This chapter kind of is perfect because I had, I recently have had the opportunity to review a subscription box from a company called The Mass Box. If you haven't heard of them, they are a subscription box that have projects in them for that week's mass. So like if I were gonna, if I wanted to go over the mass with my children before this Sunday's mass and, and I had their subscription box, I could just pull out the activity that they have for that week and go over it with them, do an activity so that they can connect it to Sunday's Mass. The box that I had was themed for June, so for each Sunday in June, they had a themed project that went for that Sunday. So the week we talked about the body and blood of Christ, there was a project in there for that, and then the week that we talked about John the Baptist, and then the week we talked about the mustard seed, there were projects in there for all of those weeks that we were able to do with them and it was so cool because the kids really got to show off their little creative skills and my kids that are old enough to do it are three and five so they got to show off and it was so fun seeing their different creative takes on things and they also got to learn more about church in the Eucharist and mass and so that was awesome for me to see too. And I was surprised at how much my daughter actually knows already because she's five and like I honestly can never tell if she's paying attention in church because she's she's kind of a jumper and a hopper and she has a hard time sitting still. So I was like, I mean, she never picks anything up, but she understood like when we were doing the body and body and blood project like she knew what it was and she could explain it to me and I was so I was so happy so so it was that was that was awesome so each project came with a little magazine and the magazine had in it that week's readings and it has different activities it has saint facts it has crossword puzzles or word search or coloring sheets and it has just stuff for them to do and that alone, I felt like, was so rich and full of activities and fun things that that alone by itself, I thought, was just was just awesome. So, like, having the craft to do on top of that is like the cherry on top. And the magazine also has the instructions for how to do the craft. And so the craft, whatever the craft is that week, they put everything in there that you need. So you don't need to go around your house searching for things to finish this craft. Everything is in this box. So for example, when the week we did the John the Baptist one, they had a little chalkboard and the chalk, the seashells that went around the frame, and the glue. So I didn't even have to search for glue. That that was already in there. It was like a little glue pen. That made, see my dog in the background. <laughs> that made everything much easier and so convenient because we are always on the go. I, like I said, I have three small children. My oldest is five. My youngest is nine months, almost nine months. So we're just constantly busy. So that made 
that so easy to do. So I definitely for sure recommend this subscription box. The kids had a lot of fun with it. I had fun with it because I was able to like really feel like I was going over stuff with them that maybe I probably wouldn't have done before. And then it's theologically sound, it's a Catholic company, so I didn't have to worry about tweaking anything or is like, oh, is that correct? Because it's a Catholic company, so it was good. Like everything was theologically sound, which is important to me. So I definitely recommend this box. I thought it was awesome. Like I said, my kids really enjoyed it. I think the boxes typically are, are geared towards kids ages four through eight. And uh, my son is three, but he still had a lot of fun doing it. He he liked the little activities. He probably didn't listen to like the lesson as as well as my five-year-old did, but he still had a lot of fun like making the connections with the cra arts and crafts projects. And they also have, if you do subscribe to the Massbox company, they have different subscription options. So if you have like one kid, you can get the box for one kid. If you have multiple kids like me, you they have that option for you too there as well. So if you would like to enter this giveaway for a chance to win a subscription box from them, you have to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to their channel, the mass box doc, the mass box. I will link that down below so that you'll have it. And you have to go watch one of their videos and comment hashtag buffering saint so that they know I sent you for the giveaway and that's it so subscribe to my channel their channel comment hashtag buffering saint on one of their videos so they know I sent you so that's it for my video today I kind of did a twofer with the book club and then this review slash giveaway so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell and I will see you guys next time bye